Hey Libra, it's Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is a reading for you for the rest of November, okay? For the rest of November. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com, link in the box below. Um, as always, I uh, want to say one should never, ever, ever, ever make life-altering decisions based on a general tarot card reading. You may see yourself anywhere in this reading. It may not even have happened for you yet. You may be in the middle of it. It may have already happened for you. Nevertheless, if there are decisions that you need to make, please, please, please get your cards read by a tarot card reader. Um, of course, me, link in the box below, or anybody else that you trust to read your cards, okay? All right, Libra, let's do this. Let's do this. So Libra, you open this reading <clears throat> with death in reverse. And this is a dual purpose card for me right here. This death in reverse is one of two things. You are contemplating, and you'll understand in a second, okay? You are contemplating whether you should avoid disaster or if you should have a personal transformation. Why? Well, because because some impulsive information, some kind of impulsive communication comes into you with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Something that you didn't anticipate, it just kind of showed up, right? It's a little um, disorganized, right? It's not the Knight of Swords in the upright, right? This isn't some, some organized, orchestrated communication. It's, it's, it rather sets you off guard. Really, when the communication comes in, it's communication that you were never expecting, okay? So this communication comes into you and it puts you in the energy of death in reverse. Should I avert disaster or should I have a personal transformation? Because with the Queen of Cups in reverse, um, this is emotional insecurity, right? This is, this is already disconnected emotionally from the situation. And now that this communication is coming in, you find yourself in a state of emotional insecurity, wondering, should I avert disaster or should I have a personal transformation? What is all of this about? Well, it's about reuniting and reconciling, reuniting and or reconciling, because sometimes you can reunite and there's nothing to have to reconcile, right? So it's either reuniting reconciling or reconciling and then reuniting. Okay. But that's what this communication is about. It's about, it's from somebody from your past and the information in the communication is about reconciling your differences. This clarifies the seven of cups in reverse. This is temptation right? Temptation. It's also illusion, right? Because the illusion is with death in reverse, should I avert disaster? The temptation is with death in reverse, should I have a personal transformation in this situation? That is the question. I want to bring out in the center of your reading is the ace of cups to the prince of cups and the three of cups, okay? This entire reading revolves around your feelings, the sharing of your feelings, and reuniting with somebody, okay? That's what this entire reading is about. Could this be love? Sure. Could it be work? Sure. Could it be family members? Sure. It could be anything in your life that you have differences with that are now manifesting as reconciliation, okay? Okay, there you are, Libra, in the hangman energy, right? Trying to wrap your mind around all of this. Really, really trying to wrap your mind around all of this. Thinking about your future. Thinking about making some progress in this situation, right? But in the past, there was an, a, 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 a grievous injustice done to you, by you, in the situation. There was some kind of injustice, right? This is a general reading. I have to, instead of the who, what, where, when, and why of a personal reading, I have to rely on the and, if, and buts of a general reading, right? So there was some kind of injustice committed somehow, some way by somebody in this situation. You're trying to wrap your mind around if you should move into the future if you should make some progress in this situation because you feel that there was a huge injustice. 
Ace of Pentacles is on the table, the manifestation of a new opportunity in this situation. But there's some opposition with the chariot in reverse to the Five of Pentacles because somebody was left out in the cold. And the Nine of Pentacles. This whole situation in the past has already been brought to a culmination. You thought this was dead and gone and over. And here is some, some communication coming in that catches you off guard about reuniting or reconciling differences. Two of Wands in reverse comes in and says that you have fear of the unknown, right? You're not really sure how you're going to go about handling this situation because in the past, there was a regretful but necessary transition in this situation, right? Hence, the reconciling of differences. There was some differences that caused a split in this situation. Tower in reverse. This tower in reverse is all about personal transformation, okay? It's about a transformation of the way that you look at the situation. Temperance, right? Trying to balance this all out. Balance, patience, purpose, moderation. Trying to be temperate in that hangman energy and really, really think about everything that is happening here. To the magician in reverse. This is um, two things. It's poor planning and it's untapped talents. Okay. It's also manipulation. It's all three of the definitions of the magician in reverse. Okay. So what does that mean? It means poor planning, right? You didn't expect this at all. Number two, untapped talents, wondering if perhaps this could work again. And number three, manipulation, kind of on guard just a little bit, wondering what this person's true motivations really are. Because, like I said, in the past, you've had a huge loss. The Ten of Pentacles is a huge loss. See, upright, it's about family, home, establishment, success, foundation. And in the past, that's what you perhaps had with this person or were trying to pursue with this person or this situation, okay? But now it's a huge loss. It's a loss of everything that you put time and effort and energy into. A huge loss. And you're, you're just apprehensive, kind of on the edge, not real sure if you trust this whole situation. Center of your reading, like I said, the Ace of Cups, right? This communication brings overwhelming emotions because you have emotions for this situation. The Ace of Cups is about a new beginning in love, okay? Overwhelming emotions, a new beginning in love. That's what's on the table. That's what this whole reading revolves around. To the Knight of Cups, are you willing to reciprocate? Are you in touch with your emotions? Are you in touch with your intuition? And are you prepared to share it with this person that has surprised you with communication about reconciliation? To the Three of Cups, reunion, right? Will there be celebration and reunion in this situation? That is the question. That's the question. And that's the, you see, each one of these cards is a mental, emotional, or physical process. And that's what we're going to work through or are working through in this reading. But I want to tell you, this being in the center of the reading tells me that no matter what kind of cards that we work out, your ultimate desire is to reunite and share feelings and to have a new beginning with emotions with this person. Okay? Okay. Queen of Swords to the Empress. Queen of Swords to the Empress. Actually, it should be this way. Queen of Swords to the Empress, right? You are trying to use logic, reasoning. You're trying to be very, very um, intellectual about the way that you approach this situation. Because with the Queen of Swords as well, you've already withdrawn your emotions. You've healed from this situation, right? You've already withdrawn your emotions and now you're trying to use logic, intellect, and reasoning to find your way through this, hence the air energy of Libra, right? In your mind, right? To the high priestess, not only in your mind, but you're in your intuition and your subconscious mind as well. This is a very healthy place to be. 
very healthy place to be, right? So what these two cards say is that you're being very careful, very diligent about the way that you proceed in this situation. And you're trying to see things from all angles, from a mental angle, from a spiritual angle, and from your feelings, okay? It's a very healthy place to be. These three cards are clarified by the Empress. You are trying to decide if you can, if there can be abundance created in this situation. You're trying to decide if there is a potential for creation of any kind in this situation. To the world in reverse. This world in reverse is... It's about a personal closure, right? It's about personal closure. You're wondering if you can bring the way that things were to a close so you can start a new cycle with this person, right? Hence, everything that we've talked about in this reading thus far, right? Can you heal yourself? Can you let go of the past? The moon in reverse talks about fear, anxiety, and your subconscious mind. And that's where you are with the queen of swords and the high priestess, right? Queen of swords and the high priestess trying to use not only discernment, not only spiritual and intuitive discernment, but logical reasoning and discernment, right? To see if it's possible to manifest abundance in this situation, to create anything, wondering if you can close it out, have personal healing. And in your subconscious mind with the moon card, your intuition, fear, anxiety, just trying to sort it all out in this particular sequence of cards. Because in the past, there was a fall from grace. There was a fall from grace, a state of disrepute, and you don't have a lot of confidence that, um, that uh, it, things are going to be any different to the Nine of Cups in reverse, dissatisfaction, greed, materialism. This fall from grace right here, this state of disrepute, uh, has from the moment it happened not sat right with you, Libra. It just hasn't sat right with you. And now there is an opportunity on the table to manifest a new beginning with this person. To the King of Pentacles, stabilities, control, security, long-term goals, ambition, focus, right? This is husband material, wife material. This is, a, this is about someone who is solid, stable, and strong, okay? And, and this King of Pentacles represents the person that is bringing you this communication. Now, I, I'm not big on signs. I don't point signs out. I really don't. They're absolutely irrelevant in a real one-on-one -on -one tarot card reading. Now, all that stuff is for astrology, right? I'm a channeler. But I do want to point out that we have strong earth energy in this reading. Not only do we have strong earth energy, but we have two, so far we have two, two cards of Taurus straight up. The King of Pentacles is the card of Taurus. The Empress is Libra and Taurus. Okay. Just want to point that out could be dealing with a Taurus, could not. But the person that you're dealing with is definitely grounded and stable. And you respect that and you see that and you desire that in a partner, whether it be love, work, or family. Okay. The three of wands. This is preparing. This is having foresight. This is thinking about how things are going to expand to the five of cups. This is forgiveness, right? It's, it's straight up forgiveness. It's also about moving on, which you have done in the past. You have moved on from this situation, but now it's back in your face, right? And you're preparing, having some foresight as to what forgiveness will bring in this situation. Princess of Wands, right? This is you being excited exploration, discovery, wanting to check it out, right? Um, despite your apprehension, the message from this person really does make you excited, really does. Exploration, discovery, right? What if maybe I should explore this? Maybe I should 
give this a little bit of time to see where it goes. To the Queen of Wands in reverse. This Queen of Wands in reverse is insecure, right? Insecure person. And I think this is how you feel right now. And she's also angry. Okay, so I feel like you're a little insecure and a little angry about what happened between you in this situation in the past. However, we have the Prince of Wands, inspired action, right? This goes to the Princess of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Knight of Wands, okay? It brings you, it fills you with a sense of excitement and you definitely are thinking about taking some passionate action towards this person. Despite your emotional volatility, the emotional volatility being expressed through the Queen of Wands in reverse, right? King of Swords says that you are not only making a decision, but you're going to execute a decision. Despite your insecurity, despite your emotional volatility, the Six of Wands says that you want to move forward with victory, progress, and success in this situation. Page of Cups, you are going to, you're going to have an emotional exchange. You are going to have an emotional exchange. Is it going to be all emotional, blah, 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 all messy and everything? No, not necessarily. You're Libra, right? <laughs> Libras don't get emotionally messy, right? They're ruled by their mind. They're ruled by their intellect. But there is going to be an emotional exchange between you and this person. This is the decision that you've made. Four of Swords says, because you're emotionally restless, mentally restless, sorry, mentally restless, right? You want to explore this. You want to check this out. You want to see what it is that this person is offering and what it is that they have to say. Judgment in reverse. Judgment in reverse talks about ignoring the call, right? And I mean, this is like literal. This person may have tried to communicate with you in the past. Maybe you've tried to communicate with them, but there's a blockage. Hence, the four of wands in reverse. Communication breakdown. Y'all haven't communicated in a long time. That's why this is kind of taking you aback a little bit. You haven't communicated in a long time to the Knight of Pentacles. A long time, okay? It's been a long time coming. Seven of Swords in reverse says that you are two things. Says that this lack of communication between the two of you has posed some mental challenges. However, the Seven of Swords in reverse also talks about breaking free, right? Breaking free. So what's happening with this communication breakdown is that now it's breaking free, right? It's, it's moving forward. It's on now. There is no more communication breakdown. This makes you happy, Libra. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. It makes you happy. To the alchemist in reverse. Again, untapped talents, right? Now you're thinking, wow, maybe there is something here. Maybe something can grow in this situation. Maybe this is a second chance for us to explore what each other brings to the table in a more healthy perspective. Because there has been a misalignment of values in the past. There has been a breakup in a, this is a significant relationship for you. And there has been a misalignment of values in a breakup in the past. You thought this situation was completely and totally hopeless. But now a new cycle is being allowed. The cycle that you were in, in the past with this person is coming to a close and a new cycle is opening. This new cycle is free will. The major arcana says it's happening. It's happening. Whether you like it or not, the way things used to be between you is ending and a new way of being is beginning. However, the free will aspect is what path you choose right? The cycle is ending. The communication breakdown, the ambiguity of the whole situation is over, right? That cycle is over. A new cycle is beginning. Free will, which path do you take? Do you do this or don't you do this? It's your choice, but either way, the cycle is ending. The hermit doing some soul searching and some introspection. 
about what happened, about what happened in the past with the Ten of Cups in reverse to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the imbalance that happened between the two of you. Now see, this Queen of Pentacles, I want to point out that this is the card of Virgo and Hermit is the card of Virgo. That's the only other repeating cards I see so far in this reading. Just saying, it doesn't mean anything. I swear to God, it doesn't mean anything, but I just want to point it out, okay? Um, this Queen of Pentacles in the upright, this is the person who holds position in somebody's life. This is the person who not only uh, set the Wi-Fi password, but the electric bill is her name. Her socks are on the floor. Her dishes are in the sink. Her car's in the garage, okay? This is a person that holds placement in somebody's life. This tells me that this person in your past could be a situation um, held significant title in your life. But with her in reverse, this is an imbalance, right? This represents the breakup and the misalignment of values with the Ten of Cups in reverse. And you are in the Hermit energy doing some serious soul searching and some serious introspection. Nine of Pentacles in reverse because you don't want to overinvest in this situation again and have it blow up in your face. Prince of Wands in reverse. This is delays. This is frustration. You don't want to repeat the same mistakes, right? Seven of Pentacles. This is reflection and assessment, wondering if you invest in this, if you're going to get profit in return for it or not, like last time. Two of Swords, you're at a crossroads, right? At a mental crossroads. What do you do? What do you do? Well, this is what you're going to do. The wheel. There is a turning point in this relationship. Now, if this wheel wasn't followed by yet another wheel, I would say the same thing that I said about the world card. It's a turning point, right? Things are changing. Whether you like it or not, things are changing in this situation. Not that you don't like it, but it's beyond your control. That's what I'm trying to say. It's beyond your control. There is a turning point in this relationship, okay? If it wasn't followed by yet another wheel, um, I would say that the the uh, free will, right? It's a turning point. And after the turning point, you can choose which direction you're going to go in. But because it's clarified by the wheel of fortune, this tells me, Libra, that you are choosing to have a, a turning point in this relationship. It's a turning point in your destiny. King of Cups in reverse. This is like the second or third time we've had this in reverse, right? Despite your emotional volatility, right? Despite your emotional volatility, this wheel of fortune is going to turn this upright. And you are going to come to terms with the way that you feel about this person. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, lacking focus. There's a turning point in the emotional volatility. There's a turning point in a lack of ambition or focus between the two of you. Five of Cups in reverse talks about forgiveness. Each of you, both of you forgiving. Does this mean that y'all are going to be together in this big, huge, hot, romantic relationship? Don't know. Don't know. But it's going to bring some peace into both of you because it's a turning point in the destiny of this relationship. There is going to be peace brought between you, whether it turns into a big, fat, emotional, um, romantic relationship or not. I can't tell that in a general reading, but I do know there's going to be forgiveness. To the Four of Swords in reverse, this is mentally restless, right? Mentally restless, to the King of Wands in reverse, same energy as the Queen of Wands in reverse, right? Um, feelings of, of, I think you kind of think this person's an asshole. For whatever it is that they did to you, I kind of think that you think this person's an asshole with the Queen of, the King of Wands in reverse, right? Mentally restless, trying to come to terms with the assholeness of this person. Because there was, you know, you're wondering, you're wondering, is it going to inevitably end up like it did in the past? Or is this truly a recovery and a regeneration of this relationship? 
to the two of swords, right? You're at a crossroads. Indecision, confusion, at a crossroads to the two of pentacles. Prioritization, right? Prioritization. Your crossroads is, do you prioritize this or not? Well, lo and behold, the Ace of Swords comes in and talks about having some absolute mental clarity. Remember, you were back there in the Hermit energy, right? You're, all these cards from that moment forward are in the Hermit energy. And you have some absolute mental clarity when you come out of this Hermit energy. Or as, as you're in the Hermit energy, you come to some absolute mental clarity, okay? What is this clarity? Your clarity is that the betrayal, the deceit, and the deception from the past to the high priestess, searching your subconscious mind, your intuition, um, possibly your higher power, right? Coming to terms with what happened in the past between you with the high priestess and the strength card, right? Having the strength coming to terms with the things that have happened in the past, coming to terms with the Four of Cups in reverse as to why this was a lost opportunity in the first place. There is some truth that is spoken in the Hermit energy and in this communication that comes into you. There is truth that is spoken that brings clarity as to why there was betrayal, deception, shady behavior in the past, right? why it was a lost opportunity. And the final decision, Libra, for you in this reading, right? General reading is the star card. You have hope. You have faith that there can be renewal in this relationship. And that's what those cards say. They say that there is hope and faith and renewal after we work through this whole emotional, mental, physical aspect of things, there is some resolve that, that this is going to move forward for you. Let's get some, let's get some advice cards real quick. Okay. Spirit, can you give any advice to Libra? What's the outcome? What's the advice? What do you want Libra to know here? Spirit, what do you want Libra to know? What what do you want Libra to know, Spirit? What is the ultimate outcome, the advice for Libra in this situation? Anything at all you can say, Spirit. Anything at all. So far we have the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Ten of Wands in reverse to the Four of Swords. What else, Spirit? Judgment. What else, Spirit? What else? And the Emperor. Anything else? One more card, Spirit? One more card to sum it up. One more card and the Empress. <laughs> Look at this, Libra. All right. So right here, right? Summary. Five of Pentacles. Somebody was left out in the cold in the past. Either way, you, them, both of you, there was a breakup and somebody was left out in the cold. Eight of Wands. There is communication coming into you to the Ten of Wands in reverse. That is overwhelming. It's just overwhelming. To the Four of Swords. Puts you in a state of contemplating what your next move is. To judgment. This is an absolute rebirth. A black and white decision that changes the trajectory of your wife, life. What is this decision? The Emperor to the Empress. That you feel like this is a relationship that is significant enough in your life, in your past, and for your future that you are having, um, you're making a decision to have a total rebirth and you are going to move forward and explore this potentially soulmate energy with the Empress to the Emperor. Okay, there you go, Libra. I hope you enjoyed that reading. And uh, again, deepthoughtswithdana.com. And uh, y'all take care. Namaste.